Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Smith's Kitchen. Brian, Mr. Smith, Kitchen, as always. And uh, you'll have to excuse the background noise. We've got all kinds of fans going. It's powerfully hot in this kitchen today. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm wanting to cook some supper, right? It only gets hot in here when I, as bad as it sounds, what I'm in here. Um, well, I mean, it doesn't sound bad, but it sounds a little conceited, right? And no, it's because the room's so small and 96 degrees at body temperature, I mean, I radiate heat. I, I just, psh, and it makes the room warm. So I've got the window open, it's about 80, 81 outside, and I got fans going. Um, that way I can at least get the air circulating, keep a breeze going. But anyhow, that being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, if this is your first video, I hope you get something out of this. Maybe check out my other videos, um, or at least some of them. We got a variety of videos going on. And uh, if you're returning, thank you. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, thank you, um, hands down. Uh, and if this is your first video, we're basically about food, hanging out, talking, you know, cooking up some dinner, cooking up some desserts, um, occasionally looking at some other things. Uh, although we haven't done that for a while, but I have shot a garden video and I really want to show you guys what's going on outside. So maybe here at the uh, end of this video, depending on how quick it goes, because I think it will, we'll do that. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And all that good stuff that gets us out in the algorithm. Uh, yeah, it puts us in more people's feeds. And you know, our neighborhood grows. Yeah, that way we can be uh, just a huge conglomerate of good neighbors doing good things, taking care of each other. But green chicken chili enchiladas is what we're doing tonight. Um, I can't tell you if ever if I've had a green chili chicken enchilada. I've had chicken enchiladas, uh, but not with the green chilies, I think. Anyhow, it sounds good. Um, I can't imagine it'll be horrible. And it's a fairly straightforward recipe. Worst case scenario is it's horrible. But that being said, let's get down to the countertop and uh, we'll start making this bad boy. Hold on for me just one second. Okay, we're down here on the counter. Um, some things we will need to do this dish with. We'll need a bowl to put our chicken in. We're gonna need something to put some onions in. We're gonna need something to, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Maybe, yep, uh, some onions in, some oil, and a pan. I'm using my uh, chicken cooker, uh, chicken fryer, mostly because I want to keep it in rotation, but we're doing sauce, a like green sauce, and even though it's in a can, I want to make sure I got enough room to, to warm it up with. And we're just going to simply warm it up when that time comes. But uh, those are the things you'll need. 9 by 13 a bowl or something, a plates uh, to put some uh, stuff on as we cook it. We're going to take it out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. So, first thing I did um, was I fried up, um, well, I softened uh, about, well, it was more than 16, but I did uh, six, we need 16 corn tortillas uh, shells. And uh, soft tortilla shells. So I went ahead and got those done up. Now there's a couple ways you can do them. I just can't see them in there really because there's paper time there, but we want to keep them warm. Um, and that's the best way I know how. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do them. If you have a gas oven or a something with a flame, you can heat them up on that, right? Um, I don't, so I just went ahead and used my uh, chicken fryer, put a light coating of oil on there, and let them go for about 15, 20 seconds so they got started to get a nice golden brown to them. And then I'd flip it and go another 15, 20 seconds. And if it looked good, I'd take it off and move on. Uh, so anyhow, I got those done. I did those in advance. Um, that way we wouldn't have to fuss with trying to get them done here to help us save some time, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, uh, <laughs> the recipe actually calls for a sprinkling of chili powder and a sprinkling of ground cumin. So I'm just going to take my measuring cup and put about a quarter, or a, my measuring spoon and put about a quarter teaspoon uh, or a little more um, on here, a heavy quarter teaspoon of chili powder and a heavy quarter teaspoon of cumin. And I'm just gonna rub that onto the chicken as soon as I get my gloves on. I really don't feel like, I can't get to my hand, my sink at the moment. It's got a, a big board over the top of it and my camera. So I will use gloves, that way I don't have to fuss with touching the chicken. But we will uh, 
and I'll just rub the cumin and the uh, chili powder into it. I've got four chicken breasts here. The recipe called for two whole boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So I interpreted that as uh, four breasts, split breasts, because these are considered split breasts. That's one whole chicken breast right there. So if that's what you're doing, make sure you, uh, you want four chicken breasts. And we're just gonna coat those. So we got those coated and they're just gonna sit there for a few minutes. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna let all that kind of start to soak in a little. Right here I've got a quarter cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my fryer and I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna get that hot. So that way um, we can fry our chicken up, all right? All right, uh, our oil is up to temperature. It's dancing, it's starting to smoke a little. I can taste it. So we'll go ahead and get our chicken breasts in here. And we're gonna let these go about, about four minutes on each side. But we wanna get them done, get them till they're, get them so they're completely done. All the way through. All right, so we got our chicken um, cooked up in our oil, and now we put it, we're just gonna set it in the container and let it cool, because we gotta shred that up, right? So we can put it into our enchiladas. Same pan, same oil, same junk in the bottom of it. I have one large onion cut up, and it was a doozy of an onion. Um, and what we're gonna do now, we're gonna fry this up. And we just wanna let it go for, yeah, about four or five minutes at most, we're looking for dark golden brown, is what we're looking for. And we're gonna try to get all this uh, stuff off the bottom, you know, along with it. Uh, but if we don't, it's okay, because the next thing we're gonna do is uh, take care of our uh, green chili sauce. All right, so we got our onions, a nice golden brown. I don't know if you guys can see that real well or not. Let me bring in so you can take a look at those. Because those bad boys are just gorgeous right there. So, last thing we gotta do is take these out of the pan. And we got all that flavor off the bottom of the pan, along with the oils, the onions nice and brown. So then the last thing we gotta do is just simply take our, uh, well, as far as getting everything prepped done, yeah, and I diced that onion up real fine because yeah, we like it fine, but we want to go ahead and we're going to pour, you want three 15 ounce cans of the green chili sauce. Uh, I found it more economical just to go ahead and get two of the big 28 ounce cans and have like six extra ounces of, uh, of green sauce. And we just want to bring this up and warm it up is what we want to do next. All right, so while we got the green chili uh, sauce warming up there, I'm just gonna bring it up till it starts to simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and take a fork and I'm gonna start shredding this chicken up. That way um, it'll be cool and we can deal with it. Now, I mean, there's a couple, two, three, five ways to shred chicken. Um, you can either do it this way with a couple of forks uh, which is a little time consuming, but I don't mind, especially when it's hot like this. Um, you can actually use your hand mixer um, to do your uh, chicken with. It, it works wonders, I use it all the time. Um, or you can just simply use your fingers if it's cool enough. Yeah, this isn't cool enough quite yet for me to just use my fingers, so I'm using the forks. But, all the same, I'm gonna go ahead and get this shredded up and then we can start assembly. Okay, so. Green chilies are warmed up. Uh, I got my cheese out. We have uh, three cups of, I've got a Colby Jack there, um, but you use whatever cheese you like. Our onions are cooked, our chicken is done, our green chili sauce is warmed. So now we're just gonna take a couple cups worth and put it at the bottom of our nine by 13. This is a half cup measuring cup, so I'm gonna do like four. Um, but we wanted to warm this up just like any, basically pre-bought tomato product. 
you know, it's asleep. It's been in this can for a minute now. Um, well, comparatively speaking, because like last year we had, uh, well, at least a green, well, yeah, it was green sauce, but it was for tacos that we had made up. Um, and that was fresh. You know, we could make it from the garden because this is just tamales um, versus uh, tomato, red tomato. So we've got that done, right? Two cups worth. We're just going to set that to the side. So then we got our plate here, and I'm going to go get my tortillas. If I have found nothing else, the microwave makes a good place to hold things to keep them warm. Um, at least that's my thought. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our tortillas and get our plate over here by the tortillas. And we're just going to dip it in the sauce like that. Lay it on a plate you know, or whatever you have available. Put some cheese on it. I have a feeling I bought really small tortillas. So these. I, well, I did buy really small tortillas, so we're gonna have really small enchiladas. But I'm supposed to be able to fit 16 in that plate, so that might be about right. And then we'll take some of our onions and chicken, put them on there, and then we're to wrap it up really tight, it says. And then we wanna put it in our bowl face down, so the roll side is down, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get these done. Yeah, like I said, we just all we gotta do is tortilla shell into the Chili sauce, layer down, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of chicken, and leads me to believe I should have maybe got a little bigger shells, a little bit of the onion, and then we're going to roll her tight, so that way it sticks together. Oh, you did your bangs. Yeah. Nice. So it. And we'll just stick them right in here in the tray. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get up as many of these as I can done, and when I come back, we'll talk about what to do next. All right, see you here in one second. So we just got done doing all our enchiladas up, and I got 16 in there. I had to kind of cram them a little, but I got them in there, and uh, that's a messy process by every stretch of the imagination, but it was fun. Play with your fingers. So I got a little bit of onions left, so I'm going to put those in here because I'd hate to have those go to waste. Because they look incredible and we like onion I mean especially when it's like this you know Chris isn't a big fan of big chunks of onion but she does like onion and got that in there then we are going to take the rest of our green sauce right here and we're just gonna pour it over the top like this and one thing I forgot to mention when we started these uh, started rolling these up is that would be a good time to turn your oven on 350 degrees um, I'm sure I will have left something down at, at that point to tell you uh, turn your oven on but in case I didn't turn your oven on 350 degrees or you'll be waiting to put this in the oven and there it is that got our green chili sauce on there now I'm here to tell you this green chili sauce is good um, I got more than my fair share all over my hands and a little bit in my mouth, baby. And then the last thing we're going to do is take the rest of our uh, pepper jack, or our Colby jack, and we're just going to layer it on the top. Now you could use, I, you use whatever cheese you like. Um, there is no rule that says you have to have one or the other, or both, or none, or, you know, there might be a, like, Chris likes an all-white cheese. Um, it just really depends on what you and your family like, right? You and you, you and yours like. And off of there, and then the last thing I need to put on there, I need to find it again. There it is. And we're just going to put a little bit more of this chili powder on there, just a sprinkling of it on the top, like such, and a light dusting of the cumin. Yeah, not a whole, whole lot. I mean, you can put as much as you like on there, but it just said uh, just a light sprinkling of cumin and, and uh, chili on the top. So I did. Now, what do we got to do after this? Well, I will tell you. Give me one second. There we are. So all we have left to do is put this in the oven, right? And we're going to put this in the oven for like 25 minutes, I think. I'm sorry, hold on, I'll tell you. 
Actually, I have it written down on my recipe. Don't mind my forehead. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, I'm sorry. Bake for uh, 20 minutes at 350 degrees. And then we'll take them out of the oven and we're gonna let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before we try to serve them. Because if we don't wait that long, um, it's gonna melt our face. We don't wanna melt our face. We like our face. So, I'm gonna get these in the oven, get them uh, baked and then cooled. And when I come back, we'll uh, serve them up and try some. All right, see you here in a second. Okay, so. Got it out of the oven after 20 minutes. Cheese is nice and melted. Everything's already cooked, so you don't have to worry about that. But our cheese is nice and melted. Everything's had a chance to get to know each other, so to speak. And then I let it sit here and cool for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, last thing we want to do is put something, you know, blazing hot in our mouths. Like I said a second ago, it'll burn, it'll melt your face off. We don't want that. So now we just gotta go ahead and pull some of these out. They look amazing. I will give them that. Ooh, they're still blazing hot. I will give them that. Oh, and falling apart. You know what though? That's all right though. I don't mind. Ooh, that sauce is really good. <laughs> Get some of that on there. Grab some refried beans real quick. I wish. I had some uh, salsa verde or something like that to put on here, um, but I don't. Uh, let's wait. All right, so I got some uh, got some refried beans there, a few tomatoes to throw on there, some lettuce. Now check out this lettuce. I don't know if you can see it or not, um, but it's in a Ziploc baggie and there's a paper towel in there. This lettuce is actually from uh, Saturday, and it. Uh, by putting it in the baggie, in the freezer baggie, and then uh, putting the paper towel in there, it pulls the moisture out and keeps the, uh, keeps the lettuce fresh, which is awesome. But there is our completed meal with our green chicken chili enchiladas and some refried beans and with some salsa and tomatoes and lettuce. And if I shred up some more cheese, I'll put some more cheese on there too. But I used all the cheese on the well, all the shredded cheese on there. All I have left now is block cheese. So we're just gonna have to run with that, right? <sighs> That's all right. Let's uh, grab a fork and we'll give these enchiladas a try. That's what we were going after, right? It's these enchiladas. Because they look, smell, uh, I'm excited. My mouth is watering, I can't even tell you. If you like green chilies, and I like green chilies, we put green chilies in all kinds of stuff. That is the bomb. And that in reality didn't even take 20 minutes to put together, 20 minutes in the oven. I mean, really, if you bought a rotisserie chicken, you probably wouldn't even have to do that. Um, you could have just sprinkled a little bit of the chili seasoning and the uh, cumin on top of the roasting chicken and ran with it that way to save you even having to cook that up. That would just leads you to cheese and caramelizing the onions and that's it. I mean really, so this meal can easily be a weeknight meal and that is awesome. I right, give that a try. I, like I said, and you can use red sauce on these. Um, it even says on the uh, recipe I read, you could use red sauce on these. Um, you can always make uh, chicken enchiladas with a white sauce. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, at least I'm, not, I'm sure there might be more. I, if you have one you use, uh, let me know down in the comments below or uh, check us out on Facebook. Mr. Smith's Kitchen, it's a Facebook group. Anybody can join, no questions asked. Uh, not even a robot involved. Uh, that way anybody can join, right? I mean, I want it to be open. The only thing we ask is to be nice. You know, uh, even if you've got a disagreement about something, 
be nice. So, that being said, tomorrow, I think we're gonna do a, a caramel cheesecake. Um, I, I got it stuck in my head. And, I, and I've seen a handful of recipes and they're kinda all the same, but I wanna do something a little different with it. Um, Cause it's gonna be a New York style cheesecake with some caramel in it, with a thin layer of caramel underneath the cheesecake, and then done on a uh, golden Oreo crust. And I, I can't decide if I wanna put peanuts and drizzle a little bit of chocolate on it or not, but definitely the peanuts, but I, chocolate I haven't decided yet. But anyhow, we're gonna do a uh, caramel cheesecake tomorrow, and I think it's gonna turn out wonderful. I don't know, I haven't made it yet, and I've never eaten one, but it sounds good. Um, it sounds good in my head at any rate. So, give this a try. And until tomorrow, I love you. I love you very much. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate all the time that you guys give me because I know time is the one thing people give and they can't get back. Um, and that just warms my heart. Tell somebody else you love them and that you love them very much. It's going to make them feel a whole lot better. They may need to hear it. it it's going to make you feel a whole lot better to tell them. And if you whip together a batch of these green chili chicken enchiladas, you, they're going to know that you care and it's going to lead to some great evening conversation. All right, so till tomorrow for dessert, for some uh, caramel cheesecake, I love you. I'll see you then. All right, I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Bye.